schwannomas typically encapsulated benign peripheral nerve shed tumor composed predominantly of Schwann cells. Another name for this tumor is neurilemoma. The tumor typically occur in the superficial soft tissues. It can be found in a head and neck area and also in the upper and lower extremities. But less commonly, we can find it uh, almost anywhere. On the low magnification, we can see that the tumor is composed of the areas with uh, high cellularity and uh, um, of these hypocellular areas. So let's go closer to take a look at the both of them. So this is an example of the area of slightly higher cellularity. We can see that the cells are elongated, uh, the nuclei are spindle-shaped, sometimes the nuclei are compared to the bullets because they have one end which is sharp and the second end which is blunt. Some of the cells are also slightly curved and this is the typical appearance of the Schwann cells. Well I have to say this is not the best HNE stain, however you get an idea. In between the cells we typically see this fibrillary eosinophilic material. The cellular areas are also called Antony A areas and here we are looking at the hypocellular so-called Antony B area. If we are lucky we can find the typical palisaded arrangement of the cells as here which is called Verrocai body. All those structures like that can be found also in other tumors. It is considered the typical morphological hallmark of schwannoma. The two rows uh, of palisaded cells are typically connected with eosinophilic fibrillary cellular processes. On immunohistochemistry we usually see strong S100 positivity in these tumors. Mitotic activity is quite low. Uh, important differential diagnosis includes neurofibroma and uh, for example malignant peripheral nerve shed tumor which would be more atypical and uh, mitotically active. Most of the schwannomas are sporadic tumors but uh, some of them can be associated with type 2 neurofibromatosis. Thanks for watching.